You know, I want to thank Eddie. Thank you, Eddie, for uh, working with Danny and Dan to set up this meeting yeah. at Healthy Times to discuss really what we've been able to do and to point out that the ability for these people to service the community is really tied in with what we do. That's right. Every dollar that we put back into the consumer's hands is another dollar that they can save or come here to Healthy Times and buy some healthy food for them. So my thanks to Dan and Danny for uh, working with you, not only on the EDAC for the uh, Buy Local campaign, but for allowing us into their store this morning to uh, talk to the people of Vernon about what's going on. Yeah, you know, when you think back to where we started when we were first elected, and it was one of those things where we thought about creating a business-friendly environment, right? Right. And what were the first steps that we needed to do that? We had the uh, the business roundtable. Right. We had it up at uh, up at uh, Mountain Creek and right. we minerals. All minerals. Had a lot of mm -hmm. great turnout. That's where we met Dan and Danny. Right. We went through the relationship and building all the regular businesses in here, getting to know everybody, listening to their concerns. And now we've come to this point now, two and a half years later, and mm -hmm. I remember, Dick, when you were on the EDAC, and, and everything, that culmination of effort has gotten, to, has gotten to this point right now, where the businesses are really coming together. There's a wonderful opportunity for us to push the Buy Local campaign, get it started, move it across the finish line. You know, as to use the, the football analogy, and uh, I, I'm just excited about what this is going to be like. So, I think we've turned the corner in Vernon. Yes, I yes. do too. Uh, again, I want to thank the people for allowing us uh, yeah. to come here, and thank you for arranging this. Uh, I never envisioned what was inside this store. I, I pass <laughs> it. I've lived in town for 40 years, yeah, yeah. and I pass it, and this is the first time I've been in here, and it is awesome. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, a beautiful place. place. They have beautiful some great products product here. Yeah. Great and, product. Uh, again, it goes along with uh, what Eddie said. You know, we are business friendly. Believe me, we'll do anything to help a new business, an existing business, and, and help them meet with success. That's yeah. that's our one of our goals. So. I think the big thing that we've done is that for the past two years, we've been able to not hold taxes, but reduce taxes. Yeah. And we're the only community in the state of New Jersey that has been able to be to reduce municipal taxes two years yeah. in a row. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big factor. It lets the people know, it lets the businesses know that they have a council and an administration and a mayor that's willing to work with them and that literally knows what they're doing. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. Again, I think, I think if you take a look at our pictures uh, with the three of us holding hands, we've worked together, we've accomplished things. We haven't, we disagree, of course, everybody disagrees, but for the Not most us. part, <laughs> for the yeah. most part, uh, we've just kept the ball rolling. We kept yeah. the ball rolling and, and progress after progress after progress. You know, it's, it's an interesting point that you make because it, to me, on, honestly, very transparent, it has been an honor working with you guys. Oh, we don't always been... agree, but we really respect each other. And that respect has translated in the two and a half years of accomplishments that I think is just, when I, when I sat down and I was thinking about running for re-election, when you and I had those many conversations, we were thinking it all through. And then we looked through everything we've done in the last two and a half years. Yeah, it's awesome. I was like, wow. You know, I, I sit here and I think, how did we get that fast this far? Mm -hmm. And a lot of it has to do with our ability to work together, work through the issues, when we disagree, hash it out, but be respectful translate that onto the dais, right? Mm -hmm. right? And make good decisions for Vernon. Well, again, I, I think going along with that, if you watch our town council meetings, yeah. you can see the professionalism yeah. that we have. Absolutely. Okay? Uh, we are professional, okay? We are respectful of each other and the general public. Uh, we are innovative in our thinking toward business, toward the tax rate. We are determined to be successful, and we make every effort to do a fantastic job. And well, if you if you if you spell it out, we have pride in our work. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. We, we pride, pride in ourselves in what our do in, in our community. Absolutely, and I think it's it's worth noting 
that we have a common thought, we have a common thread. Yeah. I think we recognize that for this town to continue to grow, it's not going to be, can't be on the backs of the taxpayer. It can't yeah. be on the backs of the individual homeowner. That's right. We are going to have to find a way to introduce more commerce in town. Yeah. I don't know if people realize, but there are over 200 businesses in Vernon. You know, when you think of Vernon, sometimes they think only of Mountain Creek and skiers. But that's not right. That's not you true. have a lot of very successful businesses, like Healthy Times, right. who are here. And as we're trying to keep Vernon healthy, they're trying to keep the people of Vernon healthy. healthy. So we, we share in that, that common goal. <laughs> One hand feeds the other. <laughs> absolutely. And I think as we move along, we're going to be able to bring introduce new businesses in, into this community because they're going to see that they have a stable government and they have a government that sets a plan and works the plan. Yeah. And that's the secret. Can I build on that for a second? Absolutely. Because I think what's really important for the three of us and all the councilmen, the mayor, and everyone involved is really understanding that the intrinsic value for us is to make good decisions for Vernon, right? That sets us up for success mm -hmm. when all three of us are long gone, right? When we think Absolutely. about the infrastructure improvements that we've made, the United Water, you know, the MUA creation, the sewers being completed, very difficult decisions because a lot of people think very short-sighted, right? They exactly. think about, why do we want to do this? But we took the long-term view and said, you know what? We have to make good decisions knowing that the next generation of residents, of kids, next coming up, how are they going to live in an area if they don't have the sewers? How are mm -hmm. businesses going to thrive? How are we going to have all those things in place? And to me, it was one of the intrinsic values for me running for council. Mm -hmm. Because I see, what, I see what Vernon could be. Right? And I look at the values, I look at the resiliency of the people of Vernon. We have a very tight community. There's a lot of great things, and we have the potential to be at that next level. Yep. I don't know if people realize it, but one of the greatest exports of Vernon, you know, is its youth. Absolutely. People yeah. find that after they graduate school and go on to further education, too many of them leave this area because yeah. there's no employment opportunity. Yeah. And I think as we begin to address the commercial needs of the community. For example, you know, we put, we just approved a, an ordinance to allow uh, cables, That's fiber right. optic, optic cables cable. cross to be thing, yeah. cross rivers to come in into the McAfee area and introduce cable into that uh, fiber optic cable into that area. That's going to be an infrastructure item for growth in this community mm -hmm. later on. And that's going to help engender employment opportunities. That's exactly Helping right. to keep some of our youngsters right. in town, in town. Yes. not leaving. Can you imagine if there were enough businesses here that saw the value, took advantage of the fiber optics, and decided to relocate here and give us, Vernon residents, the opportunity to make a choice? Because mm -hmm. you look at me, you know that I, I commute to New York every day. Mm -hmm. Extremely tough. I have a four-hour commute every day coming in and out of New York. Mm -hmm. I would love to have that opportunity. Eddie, I did the same thing for so many years. Yeah. I know what you're going through because I yeah. went through it with you. And I know that there are a lot of people who would love to be able to find an employment opportunity much closer to home. Absolutely. And I think if we can work this out, we've got a fantastic labor force right in this community mm -hmm. that people can draw upon should they choose to, to uh, locate a business? Well, in I've, been, I've been very fortunate um, to be able to work in town and live in town. I lived in town for over 40 years. Uh, I was a teacher in town for 35 years. So I didn't have the commute. But one of the reasons why I didn't have the commute is because I got off the roads and I commuted yeah. to Bergen County and it just got to be yeah. a chore yeah. and I said, I'm going, to, I'm going to apply for a job up here, and I applied, and I got the job. So I was very fortunate, yeah. and I'm very proud. Um, I've had great relationships with the people here. I'm not afraid to walk down the street or drive down the street you know, or go they, to the stores. I don't stores. know if there's anyone that doesn't know you in town. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? I, you know, when I think about the evidence of the, of the businesses that are going on here, you think about the $30 million in rateables that have just come in with Dollar right. General, yeah. you know, with, <clears> with, the, with the new... Um, Acute center, Care Center. Acute Care Center, you know, and you think about all those things. Mm -hmm. That is very good evidence that people are taking a chance on Vernon. Yep. You know, they're, they're the first early adopters of saying, you know what, 
we see a stable government, we see things are, we see this council making good decisions, we see an opportunity for us to, to take advantage of that, come in and come to a place we know from the business perspective can be successful. Mm -hmm. Very proud yep. of that fact. Yep. And I tell you, one of the things that people may not recognize is that, you know, we care for our people. Uh, I know that when the acute care center was uh, approved by our land use board, the part of that negotiation was to have available on a 24-7 for Vernon residents and anybody else, a helicopter. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're only five to eight minutes away from Morristown Hospital, Hospital or Newton Hospital where part of the Atlantic Healthcare System in case uh, somebody needed rapid transit yep. because of a medical emergency. So uh, those factors are something that we can be proud of. I think yep. that we've done a good job in recognizing the needs of our community and trying to address them. Well going done. forward, I think we're going to be able to do a few, few more good things and maybe the best is yet to come. Well, let's hope that the people appreciate what we've done and will continue to uh, support us on November 5th. I hope That's people, it. You know, one, people One thing I will say about you guys, you know, it's very rare. Being a military guy, I very rarely say this, but when I, it's very rare that I would go to war with you guys any day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want because, to go to war. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But thank you, man. <laughs>